Did you ever play with one of these as a kid? I remember one of my brothers playing with it and it usually involved some type of like warrior ninja outfit and then my mom's tchotchkes. And I would wait in an expectation as he would pull back the sling. You know the kind of moment where you like take a deep breath but you hold on the exhale? And then the tension, the drawing out right before the release and phew, the Nerf ball would go flying in the air and the figurine would fall on the floor. And then he would turn around with this joyful look on his face for the victory. What's interesting is that you can't actually get to that joyful face without doing the hard part of the drawing back of the sling. And I really just want us to use that image as we think about hope. Uh, in Proverbs 13, 12, King Solomon writes, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. And this word deferred in Hebrew is describing the act of being drawn back or the, the pulling back of a bow, similar to that of a slingshot. So hope deferred describes this this tension, this stretching, this waiting and expectation. And sometimes hope deferred is way longer than we expected. Sometimes hope deferred can turn towards disappointment or disillusionment or even just make us lose hope. And we actually can't have hope without waiting. So if we look back at Jesus' birth, it takes place somewhere around 4 BC. And before that, silence. I mean, the last delivered message from the Lord comes from the prophet Malachi 400 years before Jesus' birth. For 400 years, Israel is waiting in expectation, hoping for the Messiah. And it may seem to us that God is silent. In the midst of what you're hoping for right now, it may seem like God is silent. And you're just wondering, when is he going to show up? But we must not confuse God's silence for his absence. The 400, year, 400 years is filled with activity, what we would call the pulling back. That was needed to shape the world into which Jesus was born. It's in the drawing back that we learn to trust him. It's in the drawing back where we realize that he's enough. And it's in the drawing back that Jesus came into this world and fulfilled our hope.